I just came back to the tank with another mystery coral bleaching. I don't understand what's going on. Last time I was away, this just bleached out. I thought it was my levels. My, I think my calcium was a bit high. Turned out that I'm pretty sure it was the blue sponge that stung it and I didn't know that that was a thing. Okay, all fine and dandy. This coral is the same as this coral. This coral all stayed fine, which is why I thought it was the blue sponge. Well, it just came back this time and all of this blue tour is also now bleached out. I, I don't know what happened to it. It's just gone, 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 and very, very white, like a ghost. Rest of the tank, thankfully, is doing just fine. It is only that piece. So something is going on over here. I'm going to check my alkalinity and calcium once again, just to make sure those are all within range. And then, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know what else to do. Along with that, I am also going to attempt to frag the stratospheres today. Yay. All of the mushrooms are doing great. Got some in there, some in there. The ones over here opened up nicely too. Beautiful red streak on that guy. I don't know if you could see it, but right above this red dot right here, there is a little baby green speck on that one. So I gotta watch that one, see if maybe I hold on to it and the green develops a bit more. But yeah, the rest of these puppies are available, so hit me up. Let's get the alkalinity tested first. I, I think it, it, since it's just that piece, I'm still thinking something stung it. I just don't know what, which is the, um, the interesting part, right? I think I increased this one milliliter last time. Okay, we're pretty close here. Okay, so I always go and then count back a little. Five, six, point six eight, so point six six maybe. We'll say point six four, so nine. Like right on the edge of my my high. I don't think that's an issue. See where the calcium's sitting. Let's see if it holds. Five, six, seven, eight, two, four, eight point eight four point eight four four twenty, right on the money. So the elk and calcium is dialed in pretty well. Don't see any issues there. Might as well check the phosphate again. I did add, I'm pretty sure the last time before I left the tank, I added the um, more phos guard. So I changed that out. And we were looking pretty good. Oh, I need these. We were looking pretty good. So let's, hopefully we were on the same track of like that 0.4-ish area. And here's where we know pretty quick how, how, how rough shape we are in, in how, in, what type of rough shape we're in. I don't know what I'm saying. One, two. I don't know why that's not coming out right. What am I saying? What kind of rough? One, two, three. Six minute timer is on. We are back up a little bit, but not too terrible. I gotta do a water change this week, so that should definitely help. And then I'll also change that uh, Foss Guard again to try to keep us back under that 0.4 range. Yeah, it looks like we're around that 0.5 area again. Of course, not great, but nothing out of the ordinary from what it's been in the past and not worse. So I don't think it's due to the levels. I think something must have just stung it. The question is, what is stinging it? My only guess would be the jack lantern, but they've been growing side by side for years and never any issues. So it's, it's just a very strange, strange thing that occurred here. I do want to move the uh, millies over i should put my gloves on before it gets you know like it's not not looking too hot this one's looking good up here though but let me just stick this one in. oh no there i want to make sure that i keep it away from the blue and then these guys all literally just got bleached. I have one here. Oh no, I don't want that one to fall. This little little nub here is still alive, so 
figure out where to put him. There. These all bleached. I don't know if you can tell. You can't tell. Let me let me put the lights in blue really quick. Love me some blue lights, orange sunglasses. All right, look at that puppy back there. You guys see the color? Tell me you see the color coming back. Let's freaking go. You see the tips. The tips are starting to come back into color. If we can get that whole colony's color back up again, that would be a big, big win because that is a nice size. And I grew it out from a frag. Granted, it never looked great because it always grew non-colored up. Like, I don't, I don't understand how or why. But now that we're getting some colors in there, that is giving me some good hope. Good hope for the future of some, just a couple nice acros in here. And look at the millies. You can really tell this one took off here when, uh, when things started getting back in check. All right, so nothing I could do there for now. Let's go ahead and frag these couple of pieces and hope for the best. By the way, look at those little alleys. I am about to cut that frag plug in half. Keep half for myself and hopefully sell the three polyp. I made a little bit of room. I cleared out some of the frag plugs that, you know, sometimes when you do like a one polyp kind of thing, it just melts away. I try not to do that. I'm also learning more and more like less success rate if you're trying to like peel the zoa off rather than just clipping pieces of the rock that have the zoa on it. So that's what I'm gonna do for these. I'm gonna cut them off of the rock rather than peel them. I'm gonna do these four right here, the stratocasters, stratospheres, purple monsters, and the great owls. We got the four here. I'm gonna just do the owls first. I picked this one because of the split on them. There is like a really clean cut between the center. So I'm going to cut the base. Yes, I'm kind of wasting a plug, which sucks, but I'd rather do that than damage the coral. Okay, and now I'm going to go right between. See, and now, oh no, get off my finger. Let me not put glue on these freaking, bro, what in the world? I didn't have to cut into the Zoas at all, which is good because chances that they bounce back quickly, I mean, it's pretty spot on. I don't, there's no reason they shouldn't bounce back considering I did not, um, did not cut them. They're unaffected. So they should. Keyword should open right back up when they get back in there. Okay, one done, three to go. I don't like that big bubble on these. These are the Stratocasters. The only place I could see is cutting like through here. I think I'm still not gonna cut these. I don't know, I just, I don't like this big polyp hanging over the top. I feel like it's gonna be a, a goozer. I don't wanna be part of that. Nope, not doing it. These are the purple monsters. Okay, maybe I pop this off, and then I got like two or so frags I could cut off of this guy. Let me see if I could do it right here. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna just cut some side rock off, I guess, here. One. Two, three. Glue this guy back on here. The moment of truth. I'm going to, it looks like I could pop the this, whatever disky disc off is hopefully, and then I may be able to get two frags of two polyps. That's the plan. Let's see. There we go. Okay, so we lifted this guy. Easy enough. So right here, I'm thinking a cut. It's attached. How can I cut through both of those? Okay, I'm gonna cut it off the bottom one first. Okay, it's like freaking surgery. Perfect. And now I just need to cut right down yonder. Fingers crossed. Oh no, I fell on the floor. 
I think I let these roll. I just glue this back on here. That's probably best. Beautiful. Very nice. Gonna get these guys all back in the tank. Everything here cleaned up, disinfected. And yeah, while that's settling in, I'll feed this tank. And everything is looking much better in here with the exception of this one cyano area that is just, I guess, a lack of flow. But things are opening up nicely, happy. These guys, once I stop getting them thrown around on the ground, finally open back up. So we got two little leather frags there. Favia is still good. Zoa is still good. I actually have to pick up those Zoas back there that fell off of this. Ow. This rock right here. I gotta re glue them. That is one of the issues that I'm noticing with um, with the smaller polyps. That when I when I do glue like just a clump of the zoa rather than what the zoa has actually grown over, sometimes they just freaking blow away, and it's kind of annoying. So that's why I'm also oh crap! I grabbed this with the wrong hand. Ay ay ay. So that's another reason I am trying my best to start from now on just cutting the actual Zoa um, off of the rock that it's grown onto. Back into this little zone it goes. Okay, all good. There's the batch of newbies. Honestly, they're probably going to take a while to open up, so you guys will see them in the next one. Except for the Stratocasters. Oh, that's because I didn't cut those. That's right. Yeah, they're already popped right back open, ready to rumble. The Stratospheres. Stratosphere 2 polyp. I put the two Great Owl frags in the top. i got to see which one I'm going to keep. And then it looks like we got two, we got like three polyp, three frags of uh, purple monsters as well, so... That was just a little bonus. I was a little nervous to frag the stratospheres, but we just pushed through, we got it done, and hopefully they open up now and I didn't just, you know, ruin the whole batch. Let me know if you guys are interested in any of the pieces that I have available at the moment. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Later.